Welcome to this workshop on three element drum level control. In this workshop we will examine uh, three element drum level control under conditions of changing steam flow and uh, examine how feed forward in combination with cascade can be very effective for this particular application. We will put the control into manual and just see uh, what happens without the control being an automatic. Drum level control is very important on boiler applications. The uh, drum provides the water for the tubes of the boiler. Also the steam is uh, coming out of the drum and uh, so the maintaining of a balance of the steam flow and the feed water flow to the drum is very important. This is done with level control, a PID controller with a feed forward input of the steam flow. It adjusts the set point of a feed water uh, flow loop. So this is the typical uh, manner in which um, drum level control is done on many power boilers and utility boilers within the uh, process industry. To better uh, learn about this uh, control strategy and the way Cascade is combined with feed forward control, let's uh, begin our uh, workshop. In the uh, control, uh, we see that uh, two PIDs are used where we have a feed forward input uh, based upon the uh, steam flow. So the PIDs are in a cascade arrangement, and the uh, feed forward uh, that is provided by the uh, steam flow allows us to account for changes in steam flow. We can see the impact of this by looking at our chart. As you can see here, as the steam flow changes, the feed water flow is immediately changed, and as a result, the drum level is maintained very tightly. So the level control, the feedback control, only has to account for uh, things that are unmeasured or, or measurement error. And so uh, with this, um, this type of control, you can do very precise level control. To uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of this control, let's put the level control onto manual and examine just what happens if we don't have feed forward and feedback control on level. As we can see here, as uh, where we put the uh, control onto manual, as the steam flow changes, we no longer have the feed water flow being regulated to match that and as a result the drum level starts to immediately deviate from set point quite rapidly and in a real boiler application this would be a, a very severe problem since drum level has to be maintained fairly tightly for proper boiler operation. So let's put the control back into auto and just see with it now being on automatic how it corrects for this large deviation through feedback control and then how with the feed forward it can then anticipate future changes in the steam flow. As we can see here we had quite a deviation in level. Uh, when we go back onto automatic control the controller really has to work hard with the feedback control and adjusting the feed water. And this is typical of an integrating process such as this level control where a large upset is very difficult to quickly bring the process back uh, to target. But in this particular case, the feedback control is fairly effective. As we can see, it brought the level back to set point with just a minor overshoot in terms of coming into a set point. Now, as we see, as the steam flow starts to uh, change, in this case with a feed forward control, we're able to immediately change the feed water, and as a result, uh, we no longer have it impacting the uh, level. And so the level in this case, uh, through the combination of feedback and the uh, uh, feed forward on the level, uh, we can uh, do very precise control. So it did an excellent job of uh, catching the problem and bringing us back uh, to level. So this is an example of uh, level control on a boiler uh, application and just shows the effectiveness of uh, Cascade in combination with uh, Feed Forward. So we hope uh, you benefited from this example and we'll use this to further explore 
the control strategy that is uh, has been demonstrated in this workshop.